Hi guys, this is Robley PK here, and today I'm going to be doing sort of an unboxing. I mean, I guess it technically is, yeah. An unpackaging! Yay! It's basically the same deal. But yeah, um, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to just start on that right now, actually. Okay, so I got this. Ooh, that's cool. Wow. This must have been different. 465 interior, 435. Okay, so this, it says Crossman on the back. It's a Crossman Vigilante. It's a semi-auto. It's a dual ammo revolver. It's got dual munitions. It includes clips. Um, for BBs and .177 cal pellets. And it is, as it says up here, powered by a CO2 container. So, um... I'm probably not going to fire it on this video, but I just wanted to show it to you. Um, it looks like it only has one munitions thing on here. Oh, the other one's in here. Okay, so there's one in here, and then there's the other one um, right in here. So yeah, so that's what that is. It's not technically an electronic. It, I guess it could be considered that, but, um, yeah, it's pretty cool though. It's pretty cool. I have to say that. It's pretty darn cool. It's like Christmas, but not. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, and it also says up here that it is... Uh, that it was built in America. So, yay America. Oh yeah. <laughs> Other than that, oh, and it says right here that it shoots BBs and pellets. If you didn't get that right there. But yeah. 465 feet a second. So yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to open it because it's here and I can. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, this right here, not recommended for kids. So, yeah, since it's got such a high fire, firing power, uh, up to 1465, yeah, don't buy it for your kids. Not a good idea. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is, cool. this is cool. Yeah. Boom. Okay. It doesn't have the sound it normally should make because there's 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 no um 
There's no CO2 container in here. That's how you put the CO2 container in there. You have a little, uh, there's a little crank under here. Um, if you can see it. Uh, I should have more light on that. Anyways, there's a little hand crank under here that you crank it upwards and that's how you get your CO2. You actually, I think this is fully maxed out. So you put your CO2 uh, uh, container in here when this is cranked like down to the bottom here and then you crank the CO2 like this way until it goes up and from what I've read and done with other people's guns that, that are similar like this well BB guns but that are similar like this I have I have a friend who actually has one that's just like this um, from what I've done with, with theirs um, it just goes up into the hole and you don't hear it, it pop because the CO2 normally would go and then it goes and then you'd hear it but instead with this one you don't hear it so it's just kind of when it stops and then and then um, you pull the trigger and you fire it at, at a target or something like that and if it doesn't make a loud banging sound then you know it's wrong so then you you um, crank the thing a little bit more and then you try it again and if after like two or three tries it doesn't work then it either something's wrong or um, you gotta switch co2 containers so that's what that is guys that's what that is just saying crossman vigilante they're a whole lot of crazy oh and see this thing? You can spin this right here. That's how you can do that. Or you can just go like this and it, and it does spin. See? And then um, in order to get it open, you actually go like this. Sorry. You press this top button up here and you can actually pop this open yeah and that releases these the little pellet things and then you put those back in there let's see here I believe like so That's right. No, nope, it's this way. Yeah, there's only one way they can go in there. It only fits one way. So if you try it this way, let, let's say you try it the wrong way. So that's way. With the smaller hole, you can't actually fit it on there. See, it won't go on there. And that's how you do it with the peg. See, it doesn't actually go on there. But if you turn it around, it pops on there flush. And then you can push that up, and then it snaps back into place. I would recommend you probably not doing that, seeing as, you know, then it may wear away at this lock here. But that was just for demoing purposes. So, just putting that out there, it's pretty cool, guys. So, that was my unboxing for, for this week. I, I'm going to try to um, start doing, uh, from what I understand, I think I'm going to try to start doing one building video a week, if I can. Possibly one gaming video a week because weirdly enough, 
I was looking at my channel and, and, and they seem to be generating views, so maybe I'll start doing gaming videos. And then when I'll do one unboxing video a week. So the building could be anywhere from do-it-yourself to woodworking to whatever. It's just a building video. It's, it's me building something. The unboxing could literally be anything unboxing-wise. And the gaming video is going to be something specifically gaming. If you guys have suggestions about any of those three, please, please don't hesitate to put put suggestions in the comments. I take them and I will use them. And um, other than that, I mean, subscribe for more future content. I, I'll be putting out more gaming videos, I'll be putting out more unboxing videos, and I'll be doing more building videos. And, and if you guys want more of one type of video and less of another, that would be wonderful to put in the suggestions as well. Because I, I do need help with that. You know, trying to figure out which one you like better. If there's a preference or whatever not that you guys are dictating my channel but you know it's it's good to have feedback it really is so and I do appreciate all my subscribers so um, with that being said um, I think I'm gonna call this video closed and say you guys out there you should get one of these but if you're a parent and and you're you're getting your kids one make sure they're of age because otherwise they might actually go ahead and kill each other because I'm sure this is powerful enough to really hurt somebody so yeah make sure they're of age or at least you know old enough to know that guns can seriously hurt somebody even pellet guns and BB guns this is powerful it really is when they get CO2 in them they are powerful but yeah um, I'm going to call this video good and I will catch all you dudes and dudettes on the flip side see you later bye